Welcome to RV Hour, powered by Giant Recreation World. An honest talk about the RV lifestyle, travel, costs, tips, and everything you need to know. Each week, we'll bring you the best and most helpful info, travel hacks, and answer your camping questions. Now, here's your host, Larry McNamara, CEO of Giant Recreation World. Welcome to the RV Hour. Guess who it is? Hey, Larry McNamara here, CEO. Dwayne Adams, co-host, producer. And we are here to avail you of our knowledge about RV and RV accessories. This is episode 83. 83. And again, we have hundreds in the cache. That would do. But this is the, uh, we started counting them like this uh, uh, technically when we started having them with video. Videos, uh, yeah. You know, kind of. Yeah. So if you look at the early video, which you'll see with that, uh, you know, our technology has improved. As we went along, that's a fact. Oh, yeah. Now we're trying to add sound effects, and we're we're terrible at it. <laughs> terrible at the soundboard. But Giant Recreation World, three super RV dealership locations in oh, the yeah. Central Florida area. Yes, sir. Palm Bay, Ormond Beach, and Winter Garden. Yay! So we basically are, are in the south or the east central part of Florida. That's right. So it's convenient to everywhere. Yeah, man. And uh, we like to talk about RV stuff. That kinda, we do. Kind of like... If if you're a, a a novice, you know I don't I don't want to preach to the converted. I want to convert the un the the <laughs> sinners out there that aren't RV people. Welcome. <laughs> Raise him. Okay. So so I got uh, oh. I got a couple of little things here, some ideas to talk about. Like uh, yeah, go. On. We're we're coming into the Labor Day. That's right. You know. So on Labor Day, Giant Recreation World, all locations shuts her down on Monday. That's right. Yes, sir. But, and, uh, you know, unlike the car dealerships who all have big Labor Day sales, am I right? That's all right. And the Sears and Robux, if they still exist. Yeah. You know, yeah. but everybody seems to have a, a a sale on that day. You know why we shut her down? Why do we shut her down? I'm a firm believer in our RV customers are out there enjoying their RV during that long weekend. That they are. Matter of fact, they are. So they are. We want to give our employees the opportunity to go out and have some fun and Relax and have some family time. And, yeah. you know, enjoy that lifestyle. So that's what we're going to do. So don't hold it against us. I'm sure you put on our website that we're closed on Labor Day. That we are. Mon- that's the Monday. The Monday. Yes, sir. So, uh, yeah, we'll be closed that day. But uh, now that we're talking about Labor Day, how about some uh, Labor Day weekend RV travel tips? Or- yeah. So we got all kinds of stuff for Labor Day here. We got some destinations, some travel tips. Visit destination. A little checklist. Sure. Yeah, so so you you know you you can you can figure out where you're going to go on the Labor Day weekend, oh, yeah. the RVs, and then we'll tell you some trips about what to do on Labor Day. I like it. Yeah, I okay. like. It. So we got the Top Sail Hill Preserve State Park. Whoa, all right. Uh, I've never been. It's in Santa Rosa Beach, Florida. Yeah, I like it. Their their prices are around forty two dollars nightly, and uh, that's not a bad deal. You got to remember that these pricings, as a rule, includes all your hookups. So that's right. Your your water, your sewer, your electric, your cable, your Wi-Fi. Yeah. Bike rentals uh, are extra. The swimming cool, pool is part of it. Hiking yeah. trails part of it. Uh, private beach access is in yeah. all that. The camp store is there for your convenience. So yeah. uh, full hookups, water, electric sewer. That's basically the idea. That's a great place to go for the quick week, yeah, long, long weekend. That is. That's a good spot there. Yeah, I like that. Take the next one. All right. We got Blue Spring State Park. This is in Orange City, Florida. They also have pricing for about $24 a night. Has uh, electric and water hookups, bathhouse with hot showers, picnic tables and grills, boat tours. Big one there. Manatee viewing. Huh? That's Hiking, nice. trails, canoeing, and kayaking. Don't touch the manatees. Don't touch the manatees. Stay low. And it's also, uh, it's got water and electric hookups. Yeah, man. Go swimming with a head of lettuce, though, and you can feed them. Just don't touch them. Just don't touch them. They'll swim right up to you, too. That's real. Well, one of my near and dear favorites one is here, uh, the Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground, hey. the lovely Walt Disney World. I don't like it's it. in Orlando, so it's super local for us. I uh, think you. you know, uh, the 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 pricing starts at starts at start one hundred and five dollars a night. They go up from there. Yes, they do. But uh, that that campground has so many amenities. Yeah, I think it's the extra perks though that make it. Make it worth it for sure. It is a unique campground, and and there's all kinds of things that you can do that are not extra money. Mm-hmm. You know, it's all like, included. Yeah, yeah, they got uh, full hookups, of course. Yeah, water, sewer, electric, 
cable TV, Wi-Fi, swimming pools, plural, oh. boat rentals. You pay for that. Archery, movie nights under the stars, easy access to Walt Disney World Parks via the ferry or the bus. Yep, that's a big uh, And uh, that's a heck of a great idea. Yeah, that's yeah. a fun one. That's a good weekend deal there. Yeah. I, you take this next one. I like this place. I like this place. Say Anastasia State Park. So this is in St. Augustine, Florida. They're going about $28 a night. Always, you know, call ahead of time, make sure these pricing. As well as the amenities, electric and water hookups, bathhouses with hot showers, beach access, canoe and kayak rentals, always fun time there, fishing and wildlife viewing, biking and hiking trails, and a camp store. Beautiful. And everybody loves St. Augustine. St. Augustine. It's just a uh, a pitch throw away from uh, St. George Street where you yep. go through all them shops and all yeah, awesome, awesome stuff. Beautiful stuff there. Speaking of St. George, oh, <laughs> the uh, St. George Island State Park. Yeah, yeah. How's that one? That one's in St. George Island, Florida. There you go. Around $24 a night. Yeah, man. You know, electric and hook, water hookups, beach access, fishing pier, fish bird watching, hiking trails. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and you know, the state parks, that they are so awesome. Yeah, they are. Those yeah. are fun. We actually have a lot of bird watching here in Orlando. The uh, Apopka, Lake Apopka is one of the largest bird watching areas. It's well, pretty neat. Uh, again, there's a story about Lake Apopka because I grew up here. What you got? And I have actually been water skiing in Lake Apopka. Yeah. And uh, the uh, the bottom is just pure muck. In other well, words, uh, if you're where you could stand, your your legs go like two feet down into it. Oh, good. And then you pull your leg out, and it's green with yeah. slime. <laughs> so, uh, again, that when I was a kid, and we still did it. Who knows what kind of amoebas I got. <laughs> Try not swimming in Lake Apopka. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if you do do like any oh, scuba diving and all that in the lakes of Florida, you'll yeah. see like ruts along the bottom. Okay. And what those ruts are caused by are big alligators. Whoa, really? So you got to be cool, you know. Yeah, man. See, there you go. I know there's some monsters in Lake Apopka, boy. I think I still some think the boys. the world record ba- uh, uh catfish really? is probably in that lake. In that lake there. Cuz nobody fishes it. Yeah, no. Not even long. Oh. And I think uh, catfish eat muck. So, yep. oh. probably be a big size. Ooh, boy, yeah, look out. Don't be canoodling there or whatever you call. It, it could, maybe. All right. All right, you ready so, for these next ones here? Well, the the uh, weekend, uh, Labor Day weekend RV travel tips. Oh, yeah. You take the first one. So please. tips and tricks, which we've gone over many a times, but these are just for uh, more uh, specific to Labor Day. All right, so plan ahead. Book your RV spot early as popular destinations fill up quickly during the holiday weekend. And if you haven't already done it, you know, good luck to you. Yeah. But you know, always put yourself on a list because people think things happen. Yeah, things happen. That's you know. for sure. They'll give you a call. Um, Avoid peak travel times, too. Start your trip early in the morning or late in the evening to avoid the heavy traffic that we all know we're going to have to deal with. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, pack smart. Bring essentials like uh, extra water, food, first aid kit, but don't overpack and save space for souvenirs. That's, that's a big one. Oh, that was, that was uh, you know, you, where can you get these souvenirs at? Oh, at Georgia. Giant Recreation World. Oh, oh, and for three locations. We've got big RV camp stores. That's right. And we boast more SKUs. Than the big package R- RV stores. Yeah, there you go. Because all they got is a bunch of stuff you can get from the team move. Yeah, you know? yeah. More, it's like just RV repair yeah. stuff we got and things that you really are used Really for. need. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Check water condition. Weather. Weather. The weather. <laughs> check yeah. weather It can be uh, unpredictable, so keep an eye out in the forecast and plan accordingly. And if you know of a storm in the area, make sure you pull in your awning. Oh, yeah. Batten down the hatches, you know. Getting ready. Yep. yep. Stay connected. Ensure your phone and RV communication systems are fully charged and functional for emergencies. Yeah. And how about uh, some uh, RV maintenance check out, checklist? Yes. Items? You know, it's got, a big. Uh, always, always, always check your tire pressures and the tread. And the tread. Whether you, it's a you drive it or a you pull it, that's a mm-hmm. motorhome or a trial trailer. So uh, if you, you know, you had to make sure your, your tires are super pop, are, are properly inflated. And in good condition to avoid those costly blowouts, that Cost. cause all kind of damage. Which that's what we spoke to before. Of that can uh, blow out, blow the side panel off, all that. Sure, all stuff. kinds of stuff. Yeah, I mean, man. And I told the story before, but it's been a long time. Come on, let's hear. It. Uh, a late friend of mine who recently passed, bless his heart, great guy. You know, a war veteran. Oh. Uh, he uh, 
He had a blowout in his trailer. However, he never pulled that trailer anywhere without going like 80, number one. And he was pulling his trailer going around 80, and he had a blowout. Oh, wow. Now, unfortunately, the the uh, basically the wiring uh, harness okay. came down out of the floor around that tire. Oh, wow. So when he had that blow up, the gator, the uh-huh. road gator, you know what I'm talking about? The tread off. Oh, the, the tread off of it? Wrapped would... around that harness. Oh, jeez. And then his other tire ran over that. Oh, wow. So then and it just it yanked it? Ripped that big wiring harness almost clean out of it. Whoa. But on the interior, everything that wiring harness was, was hooked Connected up to, to ripped out of the cabinetry and stuff. Oh, my goodness. It was a major, major. Wow, that's event. crazy. So, yeah, again, man. And if you wouldn't, I, I always tell people, don't go uh, above the speed limit. Better yep. yet, stay uh, under the speed limit and go in the right lane, mm-hmm. you know? Or if it's a four lane, go in the se- almost to the right lane. Yeah. People yep. turn off all the time. Yep. Gone. But, uh, you know, so there you go. Yeah, man, that's a that's a wild one there. Tire pressures. All right, go ahead. All right. So uh, check tire pressure and thread, and then also inspect your brakes. Make sure your brakes are functioning correctly to ensure safety on the road. And people say, how do I do that with my trailer? Bring it to Giant Recreation World. We'll give it a quick one over for you. Yeah. The best way, though, is to jack jack your axles up off the ground, mm-hmm. spin the tires, and then actuate the uh, the brake controller. Bam. Your vehicle, and it'll stop. If it don't stop, you got a problem. You gotta and then you got to feel if there's gimme or and all that. That's not good. Yeah. I've also heard a lot of people, too, come here before they take that trip just to do a full inspection, make sure everything's Absolutely. good to go before the temp. And, and we cut good deals for that. Yeah. I, I mean... So, uh, yeah, man, that's good. Stuff. Test your battery and your electrical system so that uh, all your lights, appliances, and battery are working properly. You know, that's very important. That's a huge one. Yeah. Safety concerns. Right? Safety. Yeah. And then uh, check your fluid levels. You got to top off engine oil, coolant, brake fluid, and windshield washer fluid. That's a big one. That is a very big one. Yeah, that one evaporates quick. Well, you know, the, the, the electrical system. Okay. Tinkering with my old truck, my 1950, 60. Suburban. Okay. One of my tail lights uh, wasn't working. Oh, jeez. My turn signal. AM or the brake light. Okay. So I, quick like a bunny, went to and bought some new uh, bulbs. All right. All put right. it in. That's you know what? It's never that easy. <laughs> I was gonna ask. Is that all? So somewhere <laughs> the power fell out. Is we got on, and I got a oh, wiring. Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh yeah. That I got so back on. So you got to follow the uh, wire trail? I have to find it. You know, it's yeah. hard to do when you're alone because the only way for the brake lights to come on is to step on the brakes. <laughs> oh, so I got to get a helper. <laughs> and the wife hates my old cars. Hates coming yeah, out. In the, the driveway, and she says, you, you, drive, blah. you know, you know. can you all imagine? They hit the brakes. Yeah. So uh, another thing that you need to do maintenance check-wise is uh, inspect and seal the roof. Yes. So you check for any leaks or potential issues on the RV roof. And reseal as necessary. That's very important, too, because sometimes oh, yeah. the roof can incur damage without you ever knowing. Yeah. You, know, you go under a too low of a, a, a tree and some branches are hanging down. Yeah. Sometimes they hang down lower when they're wet and, and all that. So even the uh, signs that say it's whatever. Yeah, height, it's clear. You have to give yourself some uh, some leeway room. Yeah. You know, or, it... or if one snaps, breaks down a little bit halfway, and now it's lower than they measured. Then it that could rip it right off. roof, you know, and make, it, make you a prop. Yeah, man. You know, uh, speaking of prop. What you got? We uh, went to the Ford store to pick up one of our brand new units that had a recall, or they were working on it for it. All right. And uh, they had parked it under a tree. And guess what they did? What? Uh, Ripped the roof, and we didn't even look. We got in it, drove back to the dealership, and lo and behold, it needs a new roof now. Holy moly. So we got that going for us. Goodness gracious. Hey, you know, we'll be at, we'll be right back after a short message, but I, I'm ho- I hope you're enjoying our little uh, <laughs> stories. Hot. We'll be right back. At Giant Recreation World, you can buy them, rent them, trade them, or get them service and repairs. Check out the RV lifestyle, freedom to travel when and where you want to go. What are you waiting for? April is time to take advantage of new inventory to choose from, plus new sale prices and markdowns. All units made in America for America. Plus, at Giant Recreation World, you get the warranty forever. Get in on it. There's a location near you in Winter Garden, Palm Bay, or Destination Daytona. Check them out online anytime at GiantRecreationWorld.com. At Giant Recreation World, we offer our biggest Class C for rent, the Coachman Leprechaun 310 Bunkhouse, to book a rental with us for your next RV adventure. 
Uh, I hope everybody has some good RV type plans for this labor. Yeah, I also. It's a long weekend, folks. We go to party. I hope so. You know, it's barbecues. Yes. Swimming pool. Swimming pool. Campground. All kinds of stuff to do. Yeah. Cool off. Go go by the uh, the and get yourself a margaroni. Oh yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Little hangout time. Yeah. Well, yeah. Do some dancing. Oh yeah. Cut a rug. Uh, cut a rug is right. So uh, we're we're still on the theme. Some RV. Yeah, still on the related the Labor Day kind of activities you can do. How oh about, yeah. Uh, games and activities for the Labor Day weekend. Oh, all right. What do you got so, here? You you can't go bad with the uh, the cornhole tournament. No, you know that is a great uh, either whether you're in the campground or in your backyard. Whatever. Oh, yeah. that's a big cornhole's one. Cornhole's cool, you know. So uh, at our last family event, my wife and I are champions champions of the cornhole. Well, that's how you do it. You take each other on. That's right. And then you have uh, you know limit uh, uh, you know eliminations. That's right. And then the last two play the uh, last two teams play for the championship. Oh yeah. Family competitions, man. There's nothing like it. It's uh, it's it's a good, good outdoor family fun game that yeah. everybody can uh, can play. That is, and, if, and if you got some really younger kids, make them get, let them go get a little closer. Yeah, a little, make it, make it fun, right? little handicap. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, all right, here we go. You ready for this next one? Uh huh. Campfire storytelling. Ooh. So you gotta gather around the campfire and share stories, scary or funny, for a cozy evening. Yeah, you know, it seems like that goes the way of the the world when you get old. Yeah. But I remember as a kid, we used to be able to sit there and tell, try and make up scary stories. Yeah, make up scary you know, stories, yeah. Especially if you were camping, yeah. you know. And some of us were camping in the backyard way back when in a tent. Yeah, yeah. So I remember us. one from the scary story book with the hook hanging oh, on, yeah. hanging on uh, mm-hmm. the, the car door. That's a, that's a Yeah, that's a good one. That's a great thing to do to occupy your time. And, Definitely. And, and and it's full of intrigue and mystery. Yeah. All right, what you got? You can do an RV scavenger hunt where you, you create a list of items for everyone to find uh, around the campground or the RV park. Oh, that's fun. And, and you know what else is, is very helpful if you have any of those uh, uh, chat GPT or okay. any any of this uh, smart stuff? The AI. Yeah, the, uh, the AI. It'll make you a list. Oh yeah, you know that's the way to do it. And and uh, it's just, I mean it's almost like cheating. Yeah, you have to edit sometimes too because it'll say find your grandmother. <laughs> and and we don't know that your grandmother's <laughs> she, well, she might not be there. Be it might be a source. thing. Yeah. Of course, obviously, what's something for that kind of thing? Didn't you? That's it. I... Unbelievable. <laughs> you see, that's applied knowledge. Hey, you take the next one. All right, so then we got a uh, outdoor movie night. Mm-hmm. Set up a projector and a screen to watch a classic film under the stars. A lot of people think that sounds a lot pretty difficult, but uh, you can get the little uh, a computer. Uh, oh yeah, projector. Little there. computer pr- projectors for real cheap. Money yeah, they're not nowadays. Yeah. And if you don't have a screen, those can be expensive. Yeah, just you know, hang hang a sheet off the end of your awning. Yeah, uh, that's really it. Tie the bottom into the ground so it doesn't blow too much. That makes a great outdoor movie night. Yeah, and it's and fun. It doesn't have to be a movie. It can be the, a sporting event or something. You yeah, know. that's it too, man. Right yeah, now we've got football. foosball going, right? Foosball, back at it. So how about a barbecue cook-off? Kind of like the Amber, Great American Hamburger cook-off. There you go. Is, uh, can, is archived on our YouTube. That's right. Check our YouTube channel, yeah. Larry Ella Cook-off. Uh, you can challenge your friends or family to a barbecue competition with everyone voting on what the best dish is. That's pretty good. So at our, our Orm and Beach store years ago, we did that with our sales teams or oh, with, yeah. our, with our management teams, all different departments. Oh, wow. So everybody went home and they, they used their smokers. All right. And the, the challenge was a brisket. Oh. And everybody knows briskets can come out very tough. They're very difficult. Very you know? difficult. So uh, the winner of that particular uh, event was our general manager at the time. His name was Tim Carr. Oh, no. Nice. But he went to the Publix, and he was just looking. Not an experienced brisket guy by any means, you know. Had a smoker. Knew he had to slow cook that and wrap it. He uh, he found some some kind of a plum, Asian plum kind of sauce. Oh, nice. And he used that as the, the barbecue sauce, and it won hands down. So, uh, Woo! again, hey, we'll be right back after this short message. Okay, folks, thank you so much for sticking with us. And if you didn't stick with us, for shame. For shame. 
You know why? Because you're going to miss out on what a lot of people think is some of the most valuable portions of our that's right of our podcast. So we have uh, RV Hour Deals of the Week. That's right. We've had it under many names, but we figured, you know what? Being that the other guy never seemed to be on the podcast, yeah, we're just going to say this is the RV Hour Deals of the Week, only available on RV Hour. On the RV Hour, we got uh, you know the the Drive and Thrive special. Drive and Thrive. Well, somebody, somebody <laughs> picked that out. I, I like that and sounds better, right? Drive and Thrive. But we uh, we have a a, a cache. Yes. A cache. I like cache. Of of units that we picked out that are specially priced, and on our website and available at almost all of our locations. All three. At any given time, That's you know. Right. So make sure you uh, ask to see the RV Hour deals of the week. Deals of the week. Now, if we were real smart, we would start, uh, you know, moving them up front and changing them out every week to match. Ooh, that might be something. Yeah, there, there you go. Because when somebody comes in, hint, like, hint. where are these drive to strive deals? Hint, where are hint, these hint. deals of the week? Yeah. I, like I drove. Now, how do I throw? I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm not good at that. <laughs> that was pretty good, though. So, number one on the list Come on. is a 2024. Holiday Rambler Admiral. Yeah. The model 32N Class A motorhome. It's a gas motorhome. Yeah. It's, it's one of the big boys. It is a really nice coach. It's a partial paint, full paint. Oh, yeah. You know, it's got uh, it's got a, a full wall slide. Full wall slide. So uh, on, along the uh, driver's side. Yeah. And it's got a, uh, a bedroom slide also. Yeah. But uh, this is a 32-footer that is a bath and a half, believe it or not. Okay. That's what is cool about it. Yeah, man. Yeah. Bath so, and a half. Look at that. Yeah. It also has a uh, 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 washer and dryer. Oh, well. So a 32-footer with a bath and a half and a washer and dryer. I like that it has the back end. The back end bathroom there. The whole, like that. Yeah. Whole... That's the master bath. Yeah, that's say, nice. That also has the shower. Yeah. And then in the, in the middle of it, you have a, a mid-bath. That also has the a big linen closet, and it has a place for your washer and dryer to go. Bam. Yeah. Isn't that nice? That is nice. It's got a super big king bed with the Serenity series. Ooh. It's, bop, bop, bop. Uh, it's 72 by 74, so it's almost a real king. Yeah, man. It's almost full size. Uh, and it still has room on each side of the uh, the bed to help make it, and also yeah, to cool. uh, with the ledge so you can put an alarm clock or a uh, place for your pet. See Pat, See Pat machine. Whatever. Yeah, man. Got a dinette and a sofa that are across from each other. It's a great floor plan. Make sure you come and see it. We're, yeah, our, good our MSRP is uh, one ninety seven three eighty, and we have it on sale for one twenty nine seven seventy seven. Yeah, yeah. That's a quality Holiday Rambler product, and uh, you will not be sorry if you come. And check. Quality stuff. Take the next one for me. See Pat, before we get off, yeah. I, I had a friend that had the. I thought you had to have the whole hose in the machine. He's got like a overnight wearable that just, it's like just the mask without the hose and stuff. It just kind of wow. kind of lifts them up a little bit. I know they have uh, like uh, operations that are, are not too invasive. Oh, yeah, yeah. You could get a like a thing. Put it there something. Some kind of a thing that will also uh, help you sleep and not, and not snore. It's not snore. All kinds of cool stuff. I've also seen uh, pajamas with a tennis ball sewn in the back. <laughs> so you roll over every time you lay on your back. Oh, what is that? Uh, was that at the adult uh, the adult it, novel? It comes with a couple other accessories. <laughs> All right. We're trying to be a good family uh, Christian fellowship, and this is it. Oh, All... yeah. okay. All right. So, All uh, to the next. We got another class A, which I love. The Co- I like twenty twenty four Coachman Pursuit. Oh yeah, twenty nine XPS. Woo! This particular one is at our Orman, our Winter Garden store. The MSRP is uh, one sixty eight one ninety nine. Yeah, we have it on sale for under a hundred. Whoa! So uh, that's almost uh, seventy thousand off MSRP. Yeah, you can't beat that. No, you cannot. It's a uh, and it's a, it's a brand new Class A with what they call a super slide. Uh, so it's got the uh, like the kitchen and a dinette booth in one slide, and it's got opposing a dinette booth and the sofa. The it's got side, a yeah. drop down overhead bunk. It's got a queen walk around island bed in the back, and it's got what I call a walk uh, a mid bath that you walk through. So okay. when you walk when you're walking to the back on your right will be the shower, what? and on your left will be the uh, the toilet, the toilet and the uh, and the sink. You know that's you nice can, to keep it. Both separate. of those uh, doors that 
cover those can open and it makes the whole middle the whole bathroom so you plenty of room to change you can shut it off got all that kind of stuff off, yeah but it's a it's a great floor plan and it's priced really really well. now the first rv i ever stayed in mm-hmm. the pursuit yeah took was that the whole one of family our rentals? Yep, that was one of our rentals yep yeah that's you know that's there. one of our uh our employee perks by the way that it is did you know that that it is uh, i i supply an rv for the for the family to go rv in one time a year for free yeah yeah, yeah. The big one. It is. It's just why we we have a lot of employees that's never been RV. Oh my oh man. So it, it 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 actually, even though it costs us money to do that, it actually helps in the training and all and it and we get so much more for the money that Bam. we could imagine. Because now they can tell stories. Yeah. Did you have a story when you used RV? Yes. Did you really? It really and what did. was it? <laughs> and don't worry, it can be a poop story. No. It was uh the showers. Yeah. So Everybody loves taking a nice, long, hot shower. Not in an RV. Not in an RV, boy. All of a sudden, the floor started filling up with water because yeah. the drain was full. And everybody yeah. knows that's nasty, yeah. especially in a rental because yeah. you know, there's all kind of, there might be hair in there that's not you yours. You don't know what's going on. It's it wasn't that bad. It was more just starting like, the water's not going down. The water's not going down. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh, uh, if you uh, do like to do that, uh-huh. my recommendation would be to just leave the gray water tank Drain open, open, hooked up, yeah. So, uh, it will not, you know. Yeah. Now, I always say before you go, though, take one shower with a close so that you fill that tank up. Part oh, yeah, yeah, get it's nice because then you 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 dump the, the, the black water, okay, and then you use that like, gray water to clean that kind of hose. push them both a little, yeah. Exactly, you your sewer out. That's a good idea, that's a good tip. That's, there. A, that's a good tip. That's I mean, good. See, see what I'm saying? See? That's why we're here, RV hour. There you go. You take this next, all one. right, it's awesome. 24 Coachman Nova 20D. We got this featured in Winter Garden right now. This is one of our Class B. It's a true Class B. True Class B. Yeah. These are like the hot item right now, too. It's on, a, uh, it's on a, a, Dodge, uh, a Dodge Promaster chassis. Bam. There you go. Okay. So now this is a uh, model 20D. This is uh, the GR, GVR, GVWR. Is nine thousand three hundred and fifty. So it's a very light unit. Has a V six, so it's got good pickup for you. And uh, we have it on sale. What's actually we got a list price of one eighty two four eighty seven. It's all on sale right now for one twenty two four forty four. Yes, that is sir. Over eighty thousand in discount. It also gets decent mileage, folks, which is very important this yeah. in in this economy. Yes, sir. You know, I'm not going to kid you. This economy is kind of tough. Oh yeah, you agree? Man, you ain't kidding, boy. No, I'm just waiting. For uh, what's going to happen? That's it's right. it's almost like I'm watching a uh, cartoon yeah. on TV, but it's a slowing down. It feels like. Yeah. Uh, well, come on, let's get this election on. Election years are always kind of like that. Always. Now, I want to say too, the Class B maneuverability, being able to get in and out of tight spots, keeping it more car like. That's what the Class B definitely does. For well, you. that's the draw to them. You can yeah. use them as a second vehicle. Yeah. And you can park them right at the grocery store and all. It's, there's no different than it in a van because it yep. is a van. It is a van. Uh, it's not wider. It's And sometimes they're a little longer, but, you know, you can get the long vans, too, if you got Yeah, same, you, same. You know, the cargo vans or the, the multi-passenger, you know, that they use at the airports and stuff. Same. Those are available. Those are basically the vans that these are. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, again, yeah, great like- mileage, great maneuverability. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, a lot of people think, though, because they're smaller than the, the motor homes, right. that they're cheaper. Is that true? No. Absolutely not. We just talked about a Class A yep. with, a, with a super slide on it that was cheaper than those Under 100000 Yeah, that's but, 122 uh, you know, yeah. Miniaturizing costs money. That's why, because you can get it in so many different places. You can park it at the grocery store. Big right. Difference. And the uh, the motor homes, the, the Class A's are on just a frame rail. Yeah. So they don't have any uh, automotive on top. Yep. yep. The Class C's are a cutaway chassis, so it's just a front half of the van and then just an empty frame rail. So, yeah. again, they're a lot less money than a fully, fully made van that they convert fully to Fully equipped. Interior. Yeah. And it's very luxurious. You know, very luxurious. Inside. Yeah. Yeah, but we have them from uh, the their coach, the, the Nova, the Beyond, which yeah. is on a uh, Ford Transit. Yep. yep. Yeah. And then the Galleria, which is the Mercedes uh, Sprinter. Bam. Yeah. So, uh I'm going to talk about this 2024 Thor Motor Coach Quantum. It's an LC25. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even going to ask you what LC means because I don't know. I don't know. Lo- lower cabinetry. 
Uh, that's wrong. That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not even going to make a stab at it. Yeah, I, uh, no idea. No you know, idea. but this this unit has a, a double slide in it, where inside the slide is the dream dinette. Yeah, yeah. And a sofa, and then the the Murphy bed comes out the wall behind the sofa and makes a walk around queen bed. Bam. I like that. I think it's these are really spacious. Well, it's only twenty five foot long. It's just they look small, but it's very spacious. Very spacious, and it's very usable. Yeah. And uh, by the way, a lot of the negatives on those Murphy bed sofas is that the sofa itself is not comfortable. Not true. Mm-hmm. This was designed properly to be set, sitting, to be you know seated at. Seated at. Seated. Yeah, man. Yes. Yeah, I've also noticed too when this is closed and you're driving. The driver, like the people sitting in this passenger area, like in the back right behind the driver, can still talk to the driver. Oh, absolutely. Like and in a Class A, it kind of walls off a little. Sometimes. Yeah. Especially. In some of the units, yeah. But they all uh, they have a dinette, and all the seating in all these RVs have a seat belt. Yeah. So they're made to be used while you're going down. Yeah, it's very safe in there. Yeah. I do. It's very secure. That's for right. sure. The uh, MSRP, 150503 Come on. Sale price ninety six four twenty two. Another coach that's under a hundred. Yeah, which is uh, good, man. It's hard to believe. It really is. Yeah, come and see it. This one is a Winter Garden store. Yeah, yeah. I would say even uh, it's we've got anything at all three locations. You just let us know. We'll have it ready and set up for you. All right, twenty twenty four Thorn Motor Coach Tiburon twenty four XL Renner Diesel. So Mercedes. Yeah, yeah. All right, so now these six. This is it's almost a what was this be considered a CD? Uh yeah, C C B a class C with the diesel engine. The diesel engine. CD. Okay. C D, it is C D. All right. All right. So we've got a listed price at two twenty three twenty one. It's on sale right now for one twenty nine nine ninety nine. Dang. That's over ninety thousand in in savings. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's a lot of savings. That is and, a lot of savings. And if y'all looked at a Mercedes dealership and looked at their Sprinter vans for sale, yeah, yeah. they are around that kind of money. Oh, yes, You get sir. a free RV out of the deal. Yeah, right? I like it. Yeah, and uh, uh, go. I'm sorry. No, no, you're I'm good. No, your thunder. You're good. These uh, has one slide, but yeah. it sleeps four, okay? The size of this, again, very spacious. So you get a twin bed in the back that folds down for the uh, CD. So it's a... Uh, what is it? A king conversion twin you can, bed? King you can conversion? convert the twin beds if you want to into, into one, king one bed. king. Oh, but okay. You can't walk around it. So Damn. a lot of people prefer the twin beds. Ah, you know? that's the difference. So you have your own bed to sleep in, and then if you want to get busy, you can turn it into a king. King bed. There you go. And 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 uh, you know, do some pretty work. There you go. What they say, right? <laughs> You want to go with the RV, not against the RV. No, no wet bath. No, it's a, wet it's a bath. little mid bath that you walk through, so you can open again. It makes a whole big bathroom, right? Big old bathroom. It. Got a dinette with theater seat or theater seating. That's an option. I gotta say, the cab over bunk too with the built-in skylight. That's pretty it's fancy. Beautiful, huh? Right? And it's uh, well tinted also, so yeah. it doesn't let too much heat through its reflector. There you go. And it's made out of whatever that light Laxon, Laxon, or Laxon, Laxon, or whatever. Kind of like bulletproof, you know, yeah, just like, kind of like, kind of you know, like, kind of like, <laughs> hard to beat. All right, you want to take this last one? I'll be glad to. We got us work winding her down. Take us out. How about a 2024 East to West Alta Travel Trailer Model 2850KRL? It's in Winter, yeah, yeah. Winter Garden Store. Fifty nine one zero nine list price on sale for thirty six six ninety nine. This is a fully laminated, six side laminated, high end travel trailer. Yes. Uh, we talked about what the difference between lamination is and uh, oh, yeah. con- and the conventional build. Well, this one's got it all. It's got a super big slide with a sofa and a dinette in it wow. in the back. And then it's got a rear sofa. It's a rear lounge model. Rear lounge. Got a front king walk around bed. Got a big bathroom. Got a beautiful kitchen, L shaped kitchen, and uh, exterior uh, entertainment center. And all. We- Folks, so much. You got to come see us. Giant Recreation World, three locations. We'll be back. Giant Specialty Vehicles is Winter Garden's number one golf cart dealership. Choose from multiple brands to match your budget, including advanced EV golf carts starting at just $79.99. Or check out the Mad Jacks or Atlas. Escape the heat in their air-conditioned showroom and try before you buy. And rent a golf cart for your next adventure. Need repairs? If you're local, it's only $20 to have your cart picked up and brought in for service. Or if you're a do-it-yourselfer, explore their parts and accessories store. Giant Specialty Vehicles. Find out more at GiantSpecialtyVehicles.com. 
Okay, that was a full call on my uh, my part. Now oh, get out of town. It's been a quick week. Yeah, let's just say. Yeah, uh, I tell you, start having so much fun talking on this and getting going that you feel like it's just. Well, the time, yeah, the time stuck up on me, and I forgot we had another short segment. Yeah. So I didn't have to rush through that one. So I'm going back to it. All right, give us some love. So this uh, this 2024 East to West Alta 2850 KRL. Bam. Uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful, fully laminated travel trailer. Okay. Okay. And uh, if you had listened to last week's, I touched on that Asdell. Yes. Which is a uh, a, a composite panel. Okay. That is okay. replacing the the, uh, the Luon paneling. Ah, that's the or, difference. Or whatever siding that they used to use to glue the fiberglass on and the interior wall pan- panels on. And I got to imagine that was kind of a cheaper, flimsier uh, level. You know, it, it was. It does add strength because it's all laminated. Okay. But the problem is wood. It's made of wood. So uh, wood grabs water and sucks it in and it swells. Yep. Swells it, it, and it, it, Yeah, it's it's it contracts and swells and stuff, and then you have delamination. Uh, And much delamination isn't really delamination; it's that that wood rotted behind it, so it made made a bubble. You know. Oh, that's tough. No more because you can't glue to to rot. Yeah, yeah. So So, man, this Asdol and this East to West, by the way, uses the Asdol panels on the outside and the inside. Okay. So you have your 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 aircraft aluminum framing. And this is a six-sided, so it's an, in the floor, ceiling, walls, even the slide-out room oh. walls. So if you walk up to the slide-out room when they're out and bang on the inside on right. that wall, it's solid. Ah, you know? that's how you can tell that difference, that's too, right. huh? Yeah, man. So if it's wavy looking and boom, 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 you know it isn't fully laminated. Uh-huh. You're, you're paying for fully laminated. Why are they not doing that? That's right. Some manufacturers do that to save costs. And yeah, man. You. And that's got to be, man, you Some sure. of them just put the uh, the laminate, the fiberglass uh or the, the aluminum framing in the side walls, but not on the front, not in the back, not in the roof, not in the floor. Oh, gee. Yes. Saving money and cost to you. Make sure you ask all those questions. Yeah, man, that's a know. good one. But, uh, yeah, this has still, it's, uh, it, it it weighs less, okay. so now you can uh, put more stuff in the trailer and, and still pull it with your uh, not Super Duty F-250. Yeah, there you go. That's you a know, big one. Yeah. Uh, water and moisture resistant. Oh, which hey. uh, you don't have mold, mildew, or any warping or any uh, got that kind of stuff. It can't rot, so that's not going to be the cause of the delamination. Yeah, man. It does not s- expand or contract, so that won't cause any delamination. Yeah, crap. No formaldehyde, no toxic chemicals or materials. Oh, uh, that's big. Yeah, man. Yeah, it it. I mean, you could. I I remember it, uh, as a young salesman way way back when mm-hmm. when this kind of stuff just came out. That we had a square of it, and we had a square of the Luan paneling. Okay. And we put it in a fish tank uh, in the water, and it would just lay there forever. You know? Oh, wow. And you pull out that Asdo, shake it off, and it's not even wet to the touch. Now you pull out what's left of that paneling, and it's flimsy, and it's rotted. And, oh, man. And it's, wow. It's all sucked in water and everything. Wow, that's pretty interesting, man. That's a good sale. It adds uh, to, to sound deadening. Oh, yeah, yeah. It I'm adds, sure. To, it adds to higher... Uh, higher uh, R rating for your, for your, you know, your, you know what an R rating is? I do not. It's what the, you know, like, like your, your, uh, stuff you put in your attic and stuff it increases your, your. For insulation? Insulation. Gotcha. Factor. R rating is how they rate the insulation. Gotcha. So okay. it helps, uh, increase that. You got me a movie land. Well, thank you though. You know, <laughs> but, uh, that's a special thing. That is. That's it. Uh, I, I think it's one of the only manufacturers out there, the Alta, that has it on the inside and outside. Oh, really? You know, so uh, there's something to look at. Yeah, yeah man. that's that's a, that's our one of our highest quality travel trade. The Alta. I also like them because they're they're white and they don't try to get crazy with all the stripes and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. You know what that means in Florida? It means it it's reflective of heat. Yep, keep you cool. Yeah, I have to put do an Alta on the next round to you. Yeah, well, we always we always order them with two. Big roof air conditioners, as big as we can get. There you go. They're fully, uh, you know, got, uh, uh, what are they, uh, ducted. Okay. You know, and, uh, you know, the Alta Class Cs or the R- the East to West Class Cs uh, don't have ducting in the roof. And they say it's because it's so much more efficient without it, and it's true. Oh, well, but, there you, you go. Know, hey, now I think we'll be back with you next week. Next week. There you go.